this is an attempt at something. Uh, I can't say it's directly a poem, um, sort of hybrid uh, presentation of something, but there'll be poems in it. I'm not wearing this to be cool, I'm cold. Um, on a hot August afternoon, trying to end once and for all, for me, the game-based poetry gambit, I followed a text-treading bug, then several, I was difficult to follow a single one to the end of its course, being distracted by its cousins who landed all over my face, at a certain point driving me mad to the degree that I had to leave off with a bug chase, causing me to lose my bug place, these being springtails, a sort of bug that leaps, who do not always walk, but leap and leap when you're not expecting it, a small catastrophe when you're in the middle of this type of endeavor. Happily, other bugs' cousins appeared on the two open pages of my copy of a New York Review of Books, anniversary issue, containing on the left a 50-year-old article, excerpted article by Susan Sontag on Simone Weil and her selected essays, and on the right an advert for the Mikhail Prokhorov Fund, found in translation. Surprising me with the opportunity of following several bugs at close intervals and near bearings, thus enabling me to divide my project into one, a letter-based result, and two, a word-based result. One being composed of one or more bugs traversing single letters in their leapfrogging perambulations, and two, the same principle now applied to whole words touched or trod over by another set of one or more bugs, the latter case applying to the left-hand Sontag veil piece and the former to the right-hand Prokhorov advert. It must be interjected here that tracing a bug's course is not simple. Drawing with a ballpoint pen for a line approximately half a centimeter behind the bug. In this case, a springtail, ready to veer left or right or worse, reverse, not wanting to frighten it or goose it into leap, a leap toward a desired letter or a word, the pen point is about the size of the bug. The principle is, of course, complete randomness from the point of view of the bug chaser. Intentionality in influencing the bug's course being the greatest of no-nos. Or, as the case happens, the natural universe forbid to kill it, the bug which I confess may or may not have occurred, as I had little time to concern myself with collateral victims, taken up as I was with the chase. But how to organize the follow-up? One, the first procedure, one-way direction. You follow the bug, word for word, in the direction that it's moving. This results in a random bug chosen word set, which then may be one, left as is, two, rearranged, three, ignored, four, presented to the bug in some language friendly manner, or let fall upon a blank surface to be perused for possible meanings in the form of other configurations. In the case in at hand, the bugs Scroll down the article. Somewhat in this manner. And there were two bugs that crisscrossed. One of them leaped and the other continued. Top to bottom. Which allowed me to take them in order. And without doing any scrambling, anagramming, mixing up, or experiment, experiments, aside from the original experiment, ended up with a poem. <laughs>